Hey besties, so what I'm going to be doing today is a fruit by the foot wrapper. I'm doing this in Cricut Design Space. Uh, what I'm going to start off with today is the measurements and where I got all of my um, images from. To start off, I got my backgrounds from Creative Fabrica. I got the logo that I'm going to use from Google. I did get my clip art from Etsy for 99 cents. And I got my font from Creative Fabrica as well. It's called The Hollow. It will be down in the description box if you're interested. So what I'm going to start off with now is my measurements. So that is going to be 4.5 by 5.85. So another thing to know about your measurements is the front of your wrapper, which is this purple section, is going to be 2.5 by 4.5. Okay, so I will go ahead and get started with my design and then we will go and um, print and assemble. Okay, so here is the font that I'm using. It is called The Hollow and again, it is from Creative Fabrica. It does come with um, the spider already and it comes with uh, several other clip art images. So one thing to note about your images that are going to go below or above your middle section. Those have to be flipped horizontal and vertical. So initially it will look like this starting off. I just go ahead and send flip and flip vertical and horizontal. And then I will go ahead and make it fit into this space right here. that is pretty much all that I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and select this all together and flatten. And now I will go ahead and go to make it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click continue, send to printer, advanced options. And I'm printing this on my HP Envy, so I'm going to go ahead and print. I'm also going to cut this on a copy paper setting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape down each side. Only one side on the top. And on this side. Okay. And then I will take my fruit by the foot. I do like to put my sides in because if I do have to trim off anything, I don't want to cut that and then you know it get air inside of it and then it spoils or whatever. So um, I try to tuck those things in if I can remember to. So I just line up these edges. Okay, like this. And then I fold it over this way. I do have a tiny bit of tape to get off. Okay. And then I will fold in the sides. Okay, so 
basically like this and like this okay both sides are like that okay this is a new product that I am testing out um, one of the ladies was kind enough to recommend it in my Facebook group peaking shears instead of craft scissors works so much better because they are meant to cut fabric so very very easy to use and then if you like you can take your crimper and crimp your edges okay Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do that I thought was gonna be really cute and fun for the kids is I'm going to make googly eyes on them. So I'm taking just a little drop of tacky glue. And then I'm going to just match up. I got these eyes from the 99 cent store. Uh, so it was 200 eyes for one dollar. I did want to show you really quickly. This is the paper that I'm using. It is from Staples, as you can see here. It is premium bright white paper uh, for inkjet and laser printers, 28 pounds. So it is a little thicker. It's definitely not like regular copy paper. It's much more thick and uh, definitely durable. You get 500 sheets and it was uh, $14.49, okay? So. I just wanted to show you guys that in case you were interested in this paper. So this is how they came out. This is the other one that I had done previously for my measurements. So it was really cute as well. But I did want one with um, three monsters on it. So I went ahead and did the second one. Um, this is what the back looks like. So yeah, overall I'm really happy with it. I think the kids are really going to love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video.